prayer is breathing. This is the way that we need to understand prayer and think about prayer. Many of us, myself included, think about prayer in a way that sees it as important, but not as essential. Um, and even if I think of it as essential, I don't enact it within my life and my practice with the intensity of the word essential. If I were to take the way that I treat prayer and apply that to my breathing, I would be dead before I can finish this video. And yet we don't apply that same gravity to our prayer life. Prayer is nothing less than just an ongoing conversation, an ongoing communion with God. To cease praying is to cease communion with God. That's all that it is. And yet so many of us live our lives and can go through our lives with various periods where we take time off from communion with God. I did it today. After church... I sat down and I lost for a certain amount of time almost all thought about God. I was preoccupied thinking about things of this world. Things I needed to get done, things I needed to do, what I was going to eat tomorrow. And I'm not saying that these things are to be demonized. I'm not saying that we shouldn't uh, be free to think about these things like what are we going to wear and eat and do the next day. But when those things take a hold of our mind in such a way that there's no room for God and no room for him to even enter into these things with us, then we have lost the importance of prayer. Notice that we can be thinking about what we're going to do the next day. We can be thinking about what we're going to eat. And we don't stop breathing when we do that. Do you have to think about your breath? Do you have to consciously think about breathing in order to keep it going? No. It's an instilled pattern of behavior. It's a mechanism, if you will, of the body that we don't have to think about. We don't have to regulate. It regulates itself. This is what prayer should become to the Christian we should have such a strong communion with our Father, such a strong devotion to Him, and really a connection to Him that enables us to see Him as everything that we need, more essential than breath. If we get to a point where we recognize that and we see that as, as a real reality, it's not hypothetical, it is reality. Apart from God, what are we? Creatures, creatures cut off from life itself. If we see God for who he is and see our need for him rightly, we will begin to adopt a habit and a pattern of prayer that becomes as second nature as our breath. And I've read stories about monks who... through their devotion to consistency in prayer, and even using the breath as an imagery of prayer and sinking their breath with their prayer, they can carry on a conversation much like I'm doing right now with you and continue to pray and have the prayer be a never-ending part of their existence. And I just think to myself, if I were to do this, imagine the kind of victories that I would have over temptation and sin in my life that still trips me up and snares me. Imagine the joy that I would have. Imagine the ability I would have to look at the things of the world and see them for what they are <laughs> and not see them as appealing. Imagine... My ability to resist compromise even in areas where it doesn't feel like real compromise. 
There are so many things that I can think of that would be improved by an ongoing prayer. But I recognize within myself a weakness, a weakness of mind, a weakness of heart, a weakness of so many things that I'll reach a point and I'll cease my communion with God, move on to other things and then come back to him. That is death, my friends. More profound than if we were to stop breathing. A more profound death than if we were to stop breathing. So my encouragement to us is to think about our breathing. Think about the fact that it is the sustenance, it is the mechanism by which our bodies stay alive. Think about what happens when somebody takes their last breath. Death. Think about prayer. Think about what happens when we take our last breath of communion with God. Death. And let that challenge you. Let that challenge me even now, Lord. Let us think about our prayer as breath, as just as important as breath. And may we grow into a deeper communion and fellowship with life itself.